Hello, welcome to the studio. Today I am working on a series of dry point prints that I have already put through the press uh, at my local print studio, Spike Print Studio. Um, so I am adding monoprint in my usual way by hand uh, in the home print studio. Uh, so this is just, uh, I guess this is the midpoint of some of these. There will be more added to them, um, but this is just going to add a bit of colour, a bit more depth. Um, and just a bit more oomph and life to them. If you like the video, then please do subscribe and click the like button. Um, and you can also see lots more of my work at ruthander.co.uk or follow me on Instagram, I'm at ruthanderprints. So these are the pieces that I'm working on. Um, I've got uh, four that are kind of like this. This is uh, an ancient site here. So there's this dry point line at the top, a little bit of monoprint in the corner there, and then I've already collaged over some of these. Um, so this is shin collé, so it was collage put on as it went through the press. This I've added afterwards, and it's monoprint on tissue paper collaged in. Uh, and the same with this one. This was shin collé, and then I've just added that this bit of yellow at the bottom here as well. Um, so I think they they still need a bit of colour. They need a bit of interest. Um, this one, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one yet, actually. It's already got quite a lot in it. Um, so this has been collaged on afterwards, after it's gone through the press. So I've got those four, and then I've also got these two here, which were done in the same session. Um, and again, I'm not completely sure what I'm doing with these yet, but I'm sure I will decide as I go along. So this is the palette that I'm working with. I've got some sort of ochre yellows, a, a quite a bright orange red there as well, um, and one darker colour right at the top there to get some darks in. So I'm going to make a start now. Okay, I'm going to... I'm just going to mask out this bit, I think. And I'm going to see if I can just roll almost in a diagonal. Now that I'm liking a little bit more, and again, I'm going to add in the scratch marks, going to scratch those fields back in, basically adding the dry point line back in, just with the end of a pencil here. I think I'm just going to roll into this area here as well. I, I don't really like just having this Plain, that's the, that's the white of the paper showing through there. So I'm just going to see if I can gently cover that up. And hopefully this colour is going to sort of echo the, the collage I've put on the bottom area as well. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to take these little spots off if I can. Um, I might literally just try and wipe them off. Okay, not too bad. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is add some some of this quite bright orangey red colour. Um, it, it's a dark tone, darkish tone. And it's bright, so it will uh, be quite a contrast to what is already on a couple of these prints. And I'm just going to do some monoprint lines, I think. So I'm rolling out quite thinly, and I'm rolling on the opposite side to where I want to print. Uh, just do that a bit more here. So I'm going to use this one again here, and I'm going to—I think I'm going to put some kind of line work in this corner here. So hopefully, just add a little bit of darkness, a bit of interest, and a bit of brightness. I might even go over the edge, actually. Yeah, why not? Quite like that. I'm going to use my trusty old knife here, the end the knife handle. I think I'll start with, and I'm going to have to press quite hard. I think. See 
how that's turned out. Oh yeah, pretty bright. And I have gone over the edge of the print there, which I quite like. And I'm going to just do a little bit more, I think, along here. Okay. I'm also going to add, I think I'm going to add some of that very similar line here, but in a different way. I like the, I like this sort of almost implies um, a field boundary. So I think I might actually do that as as a kind of square line. Um, what I will have to do, and you're not going to be able to see this, but I'm just going to hold the piece against the window and I'm going to draw against the back of the picture the line that I want. Because with the light coming through it, I can see where I need to draw. And I'm doing it quite, um, I'm not doing it really precisely as you might notice. Right, so um, I'm going to need to roll this out a little bit more to do that. I don't want to get too much of this colour sort of all over the middle of this piece. I just want the line. So I'm going to roll it out pretty thinly. Um, with this technique, you, if you roll it out thickly, it tends to, when you press onto the back with your tool, your implement, it tends to kind of stick onto everything. I don't really want that. Okay, let's try that. Okay. Right. Ooh, okay, I quite like that. It's quite subtle actually, but it does imply that there's a kind of field boundary. So I like that, and it's a really nice kind of monoprint line as well. I'm just going to take a little ghost print of that line work I've just done. Just see if that comes out because it could be quite nice for another print. I'm just going to use my Baron here. Yeah, quite nice and subtle, nice texture and colour. And it's just got the negative of the of the line I've just drawn here as well, which is nice. Okay, so last but not least, I am going to add some blue to one of the skies. And I've kind of got this, almost by accident, I've mixed this rather nice kind of almost teal colour with some Prussian blue, little bit of yellow added in. And I'm going to add it to the top of this one. I'm going to use my, I'm just going to, literally put it onto the plastic and then print it straight off without rolling it evenly and I want it to go on this side so I am going to put it on this the other side the opposite side of my plastic and I'm just going to try and get a nice kind of mark here Uh, which sometimes can be a bit difficult. Yeah, let's try that. See how that works. Okay, so I'm going to try and get it here. And I'm going to do this by eye. Um, best thing to do actually is lift it up from this side and then lay it down like that and I'm going to use my baron here which is just a tool it's just a printmaking tool Ooh, to apply pressure and the paper moved a little bit there hopefully that hasn't made a difference let's have a look oh yeah okay really beautiful streak of blue there so I like that I'll leave that as it is. Okay, so the, at the end of that very quick little session, um, this is what I've ended up with. I think the blue really adds something to this one. And the same here with the orange, actually. It just makes the other colours sing, sing out a little bit and adds a bit of definition.